Hey guys! Happy Feelings Friday. Poetry Extravaganza, not for little babies. Um, it's been an awesome day for me. I had some tea and honey and apples and cucumbers and I've been writing poetry. So I wanted to share with you some of the awesome submissions that I got last week. They were some of my favorites. You guys are great. Okay, so the first one was from, um, it was from Lancaster Bridge to Mustard Yellow Shoes, which I thought already, like, really cool. Um, so I took excerpts from some of my favorites. Dear Mustard Yellow Shoes, I hope you don't take this letter the wrong way because I truly love having you around. Perhaps just be more cautious of getting too close to the edge. Oh, and next time, maybe stop by for lunch instead. I simply don't want to somehow be a part of taking yet another pair of lovely shoes away from this world. Be well, my friend. Yours truly, Lancaster Bridge. So that was just the tail end of the poem, but I loved it. I mean, it was a really great thing that I think sort of touched on, um, you know, self-destruction in a really beautiful, poignant way. So that was wonderful. That was by Kate B. Um... Another one of my favorites was a letter from a needle to vinyl record. So um, this is an excerpt of it I liked. Your sophisticated velvet black exterior gleamed as you slid from your crib. I sat in awe, staring, wishing I was that breathtaking. That was from Emily P. I thought it was a really creative take on it. Um... Okay, so this week's prompt for real and honest feelings, Friday Poetry Extravaganza, not for little babies, is very simple. It's um, it's a list poem, and how a list poem works is basically you have one start of a line that just repeats over and over and over again, and you can twist it and turn it in different ways you like, so... Um, and you see this a lot in, in pop music, too. It's a really easy way for the listener to, f to feel familiar, and um, um, repetition is such an awesome form for writing and uh, prompt for anything. So um, what else did I say? Um, don't feel restricted to starting the phrase on every line. You can start it with every stanza. You can go on a tangent. Um, but... Some examples are, I am da 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 I am a beautiful darling flower. I am a violet sky. Um, that's an I am poem, which are awesome and uh, affirming. And I think those are important for any writer to have or anybody that's sort of exploring their own identity. Um, another way you can start is dear so-and-so, dear mom, dear, you know, lover, anything that you're craving to to write. But the important thing about those poems is the repetition of the line. Um, I thought of another one. I can't remember the last time I blah, blah, blah. I can't remember the last time I saw the sun streaking itself through the trees. Um, so that's another one. Um, I thought of another one. When I am with you... I blah blah blah. I feel so alive. I feel like a sparkly butterfly, newly left from my cocoon of sadness. But that's that's one. Um, for this prompt, I chose two poems um, that I love so deeply. They're from Rachel McKibbins. Um, in both of these pieces, Rachel uses the tool of repetition and then twists it. It's like she finds a new meaning with every line. So these are two of my favorite poems from Rachel McKibbins. It's okay to hang upside down like a bat, to swim into the deep end of silence, to swallow every key so you can't get out. It's okay to hear the ocean calling your fevered name, to say your sorrow is an opera of snakes, to flirt with sharp and heartless things. It's okay to write, I don't deserve everything, to bow down to this rotten thing that understands you, to adore the red and ugly queen of it, to admire her calm and steady rowing. It's okay to lock yourself in the medicine cabinet, to drink all the wine 
and to do what it takes to stay without staying. It's okay to hate God today, to change his name to yours, to want to ruin all that ruined you. It's okay to feel like only a photograph of yourself, to need a stranger to pull your hair and pin you down. It's okay to want your mother as you lie alone in bed. It's okay to brick, to fuck, to flame, to tur church, to crush, to knife, to rock, to rock, to rock, to rock and rock. It's okay to wave goodbye to yourself in the mirror. To write, I don't want anything. It's okay to despise what you have inherited. To feel dead in a city of pulses. It's okay to be the whale that never comes up for air. To love best the taste of your own blood. It's by Rachel McKibbins called From Letter From My Heart to My Brain. I think sometimes it's scary to explore the dark sides of us and when we're feeling self-destructive, um, to be able to channel that into something creative or beautiful. But for me, I've learned that writing is a form of catharsis of survival. And um, I think this poem really encapsulates it. Rather than being exploitive and saying, boo-hoo, I'm so sad, everything sucks, putting it in a poem like that, fuck. It's so good. Um, another poem of Rachel's that I, it's so stunning. It, um, it's one of the first poems I ever read of Rachel's. Um, it's, it's untitled, it's an untitled poem, but I call it Last Love. And you will hear yourself say, Last love, I wish to die so I may come back to you new and never tasted by any other mouth but yours. And I want to be the hands that pull your children out of you and tuck them deep inside myself until they are ready to be the children of such a royal and staggering love. Or you will say, last love, I am old and have spent myself on the courage list, have wasted too many clocks on less deserving men, so I hurl myself at the throne of you and lie humbly at your feet. Last love, let me, let me never roll out of this heavy dream of you. Let the day I was born mean my life will end where you end. Let the man behind the church do what he did to me if it brings me to you. Let the girls in the locker room corner me again if it brings me to you. Let this wild depression throw me beneath its hooves if it brings me to you. Let me pronounce my hoarded joy if it brings me to you. Let my father break me again and again if it brings me to you. Last love, I have let other men borrow your children. Forgive me. Last love, I once vowed my heart to another. Forgive me. Last love, I have let my blind and anxious hands wander into a room and come out empty. Forgive me, last love, I have cursed the woman you loved before me. Forgive me, last love, I envy your mother's body where you resided first. Forgive me, last love, I am all that is left. Forgive me, last love, I did not see you coming. Forgive me. Last love, every day without you was a life I crawled out of. Amen. Last love, you are my last love. Amen. Last love, I am all that is left. Amen. I am all that is left. Amen. I love that poem. It makes me cry. <laughs> feelings Friday about feelings. Um, Rachel, you're just such a phenomenal writer. I can't even stand it. So that's this week's prompt. It's a list poem using the same repeating phrase you don't have to make me cry Ugh, but it will inevitably happen so twist it find a new meaning make it personal make it yours um, and as always you can keep it private and close to your heart or you can send it to me at marylambertsing at gmail.com and I pick some of my favorites and I read them and I love you guys I hope that you're having an awesome week and I'll talk to you next week for next Feelings Friday. Bye, guys!